because nobody asked for this. <clears throat> you got two more alarm clocks I picked up at the Goodwill shop yesterday. But these are kind of unique in a way because, well, they're unique in a way. This one's a Micronta. This one's a CompuCron. I'll get to that one in a minute. But the Micronta, I figured i get that because, well, <laughs> Micronta was a division of Radio Shack. Actually, it was one of Radio Shack's brands. I mean, you had Archer, Micronta, Realistic, and all that stuff. I mean, I think the Microntas were mainly the clocks, but yeah. I saw this and I thought, hey, nice. And it was $3, so I figured, hey, we can, we can all use some more vintage alarm clocks. But it says 12, 24 hour. That's one of the reasons why I got it. <laughs> but yeah. It's catalog number 63-753A. 120 volts, 60 hertz, 5 watts. Custom manufactured in Hong Kong for Radio Shack, Division of Tandy Corp. UL approved, do not open, etc. 10A7. So I might have reason to believe this was made in October of 87. I don't know. But yeah. This thing will focus. There's a little switch down there that says 12, 24 hour. That's part of the reason why I got this. I mean, it says 10, 12, but it's actually 12 minutes after 10 hundred hours. If I switch it to the 12 hour thing, it'll say AM. But since I'm usually the type of person that likes to deal with 24 hour military time, I'm going to leave it at that because I like it a lot. And, yep, 1300, which is 1 o'clock, so, yeah. Oh, my. Oh, great. Some of the digits are burnt out. Nice. Eh, not a big deal. I mean, I'm not going to cry over it. I'm not going to be like, hey, my life is ruined. It'll just be something to look into later. If I decide to restore some of these things. Or just keep them as they are. And there's a little sensor that you cover up over and it's supposed to go dim. Which, I'm not sure if it works because the lighting in here isn't that great. So, all that. A little dot there, battery sentinel, meaning there's no battery or it's dead, but there's no battery. So, we're going to cut the alarm on and there's a display. You got the alarm clock, the old fashioned one with the bell. Come on, focus. And some sort of star, shooting star thing. And you gotta believe me. But, yeah. I'm just gonna advance it. Yeah. Not much, but it will be annoying after a minute, so, yeah. So, that's that. Now, on to the next one, which is the CompuCron. And I saw it, I'm like, never heard of that. Interesting. I mean, it definitely has a, probably a late 70s, early 80s look to it. And I really wish they would stop writing all over the model number, because... It's a model something 10. So, yeah. 120, vol 120 volts, six, 60 hertz, 5 watts. Probably made in 1980. I wouldn't doubt it. Now on the back is switches to turn the alarm off and the dimmer. There's actually a three stage dimmer on this. You got low. Medium, whoops, wrong one. There's high, medium, and low. We're going to keep it at low, medium. And the alarm clock, I mean, I mean, that's how you set the thing. Second hand. So, what we're going to do, we're going to, and fair warning, guys, the alarm on this, OMG. Three, two. 
Oh, what the hell? Well, it worked on... Trust me, it worked at the store, so... We'll just go through the cycle again. And the dryer stopped. Really, dude? Am I going to have to reset the... Yeah. I swear to God, it's like, Jesus fucking fuck, if this don't wake you up, I don't know what does. So, yeah. Loud and annoying. But, I guess it was because as I get you up to get to go to work and do that 40 hour week thing back when it actually mattered now <laughs> yeah whatever so that's that two vintage alarm clocks from the Goodwill shop from yesterday I know it ain't much but better than nothing I guess so I guess until next time whatever it is I'm Muskie thanks for watching and the comment box is open <laughs>